There we go, and that screwed things up again. Hello anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Not here, along with... Pago Doritos. <laughs> and welcome back to Singularity for the fourth time. Possibly at the end of the game. If, the, if, if this stream ends up being under an hour long, before we reach the end, then we'll continue on with Slime Rancher to fill up because the last, the last time we were, were streaming this, it had a very big near end game feeling. So yeah, possibly uh, Singularity and uh, <laughs> Slime Rancher today. Nice. Let's get started. Do I do wonder what if we end up going three hours instead? Today. <laughs> I uh, don't think we will. I will. I am willing to extend it into a half an hour if we are at the end of the game. Uh, let's see. That is what we really came like. from, I think. No, it would be a bit surprising that you're expecting it to be done within an hour, but it takes longer. Let's see. This is the audio log of Dr. Benistoff. Yeah, we've listened to that one. Feeling. Dr. Demetjev is not finished trying to get the TMD from me, so I've hidden it in the E-99 cavern beneath our lab. Yeah, we, he's talked about that before, and this one is new. I think... I think this is the containment chamber of the TMD where we found it in. Hmm. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Were we supposed to go this way after all? I, I'm pretty sure we came. Yeah, we we did not come from here. <laughs> oh, come on. You just do whatever you want and blow up those little assholes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that works so much better than trying to pick them up and fling them. Which I don't think even kills them. What about the throwing explosive barrels and whatever that is? Not, not drop them. <laughs> that works as well. There we go. I'm getting some audio cutouts. Oh. Like it's like it's like the earbuds aren't fully connecting you know, or something. I mean, I, I did. I did do a so-called clean boot of my computer, which involved turning basically everything off. And, oh yeah, we have unlimited uh, TMD power now. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> but, yeah, I had to mess... I I've been messing around with my computer a bit to try and get that stupid Windows update installed. And, yeah, the consensus is, nope, not going to happen. So okay, that might have also messed up with some things outside of all of that. Okay, that, that, that sounds weird. It's all that should have been fixed by now, if you did that. Uh, yep. Did we just jolt forwards? And because, yeah, because we have full power with this thing now, we can disintegrate everyone. Wait. Oh! Those phantoms we saw before, those were the... What they were attacking was us. Because... Oh! There was a soldier over here that was looking this way. And another here, looking here. And we, when the shift happened, we were here, ish. So yeah, they they were looking at us. <laughs> That's kind of concerning. This is the audio log of 
Dr. Berisov. The TMB worked. It was able to... Yeah, we heard that one as well. Um... Hold on a second. Shouldn't we technically be going the other way? We have the E-99 bomb, or... It's been charged, so it should destroy the singularity. Uh, no, it seems we are going the right way. Hmm. Hold on, Captain. Let me see if I can open the door for you. Stop, damn it. If... There's just something so freaking cool about all of that. What is this about stopping damage yet? Or is this basically confirming to us that uh, he... Oh, he sabotaged the singularity somehow. And Oh yeah, those guys are immune. They... Immune to these? Yes, they are. They are less affected. So. Actually, no, they are not. Okay. Uh -oh. Give me that and send that there. Wait, that didn't blow it. <laughs> okay, for a moment it looked like it didn't blow up the canister. I'm surprised, but look at the really bigger room. Yeah. We were, all, we were almost going... Give me a second, bot the SWAT. Get lost. Nobody wants your fake fame. And anyone who does want your fake fame is an idiot who's going to get scammed. What if this is supposed to happen? This, this is the other outline. And it, it almost looks like someone tried to erase it. Or at least part of it. Yeah, this has a big final area of deals. Wait. Wait. Wait, we were we sat there? Something is yeah, something is really going on with this. Then again, we are right underneath the singularity where time is even more fucky than usual. But some of those soldiers looked American, unless I'm completely wrong. Dealt with. Oh. I might be overusing the TMB just to pick up stop. Did you not attack someone with a medical load? Yeah, but it didn't seem to do anything. It would have been funny if that at least staggered them. Well, if you want to hear someone with a proper potion, someone who is, it's the first time in one health left, and you don't throw the potion near them or actually at them, they will die. Okay, okay. Mora thought that one was still alive. And yeah, yes, we're going to get I another... I on my own mistake several times, but actually I'll get a throw with the bottle at their own head. 
Oh no, I have the cold drum pad for this thing. There we go. If you're going to pull an explosive barrel out of your ass, you're going to have to expect it to blow up in your hands. Being a bit reckless with my health, though. Great. Bear. Bear us off? This is it. This is where we set history right again. Use the TNT municipality to open a rift to 1955. Then destroy the reactor with the E99 bolt. Once the singularity is destroyed, the truth of history will be restored. Go on now, Kip. Good luck. How the fuck did you even get here? I'm starting to have some suspicions of Barrison. Also, why do we need a time bomb, uh, quite literally, to destroy the reactor if just restore destroying it normally would do? Time to blow it up before it unless. Are uh, we going to cause a time loop of sorts that we like, were responsible for it go in the first oh. place? Is that what we are about to prevent it? Uh. Because why would Demichev sabotage this thing? Also, uh, we're a bit close to it. It's still broken. Have fun on your trip down memory lane, Captain. You look surprised. All that effort to destroy the singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild it. Now, give me the TMD. Don't wrinkle. We're missing something, but we can figure it out. We can still set things right. <laughs> Only the victors rewrite the history books. And you lost. You forgot I got fucking guns, Only dumbass. Only the victors rewrite the history books. That's it. The singularity is not the problem. You went back in time and saved Demichev from being killed in the burning building. Remember? <laughs> Changed, and he's what you have to change back. You cannot let Demichev live. <laughs> it won't work. You've already tried that and failed. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain Renko? <laughs> Which means the only way to correct the timeline is for you to stop yourself. You mean kill himself? You're asking a man to sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I'm not sure you have reliable authority, Beresov. Rankle, don't listen to him. You can save the world. So you say. But Captain... Think about what you were before all of this. It's wrong in the hive. I can offer you a whole other life. Things you could only imagine. 
at your fingertips. Give me the TMD. And help rule the world. Is this a world you want to be a part of, Renko? Look around you! Look at all the suffering this man has caused! No visionary leader is without his critics. Renko, he is not a leader. He's a mass murderer, a dictator. You must stop him at all costs. Use the TMD for the city of Melody. Travel back in time and kill yourself. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or you can prove your loyalty to me by killing Parasov. And I will grant you unlimited power. Make your choice, Captain. So it was a time loop all along. Yeah, and he only repaired the damn thing you blew up. Now, it's not that we repaired it. We were the ones who destroyed it in the first place. That accident... That... Was us. Uh, but I didn't mean that. I mean, he, when we blew it up, he repaired it. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't really look repaired. Well, it blew up anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. If we take too long, he kills us anyways. Okay, good on you, game. I think it's more like you turn your back on him. But that might also be it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, can we skip this? We can't skip this. Okay, so we're going to have to listen to all of that. So... Was it us who left the messages then? Because here we are destroying the Singularity Reactor, which set off everything else. Yeah, I... It's a time loop. Also, he was very talkative for someone who took a shot to the head. All that effort to destroy the Singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild it. Now, give me the TMD. Don't Renko. We're missing something, but we can figure it out. We can still set things right. Okay, a, a slight counterpoint that you can't skip, but then again, this is an in-game cutscene. Also, where the fuck did we keep that pistol all that time? The <laughs> we, the history books. <laughs> we were That's lugging it. around an RPG, an auto cannon, and an assault rifle. Where the, the, the fuck did we stick that thing up our ass? From being killed in the burning building. Remember? But I, I don't remember that person saying that death. I don't remember that. I remember saving damage here, but I don't remember someone shouting at us that he shouldn't you have survive. To back. You cannot let Demichev live. <laughs> but the problem is we seem to be only you able to travel back to time to and have travel back in time a certain amount. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain Renko? <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Was you? He's right, Captain. You are the anomaly, which means the only way to correct the timeline is for you to stop yourself. You mean kill himself? You're asking a man to sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I, I'm not sure. I don't. I, I still don't know who left the freaking and the signs. Then was it? If it was us, then it wouldn't have been he is coming and such. Yeah, that's a good question. And again, if it said I was coming and such, then I don't think uh, it would have changed much. Yeah, and also I think I know why you don't remember. The entire time in Bernie Beeling scene, everyone was screaming. Yeah. Look around you. Look at all the suffering this man has caused. No visionary leader is without his critics. Blah 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 blah. 
He's a mass murderer, a dictator. You must stop him at all costs. Use the DMD on civil liberty. Travel back in time and kill yourself. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or you can prove your loyalty to me by killing Beresov. And I. Now don't regret. make me pro yeah, put I'm out your other eye. Make your choice, Captain. Okay, this time. Fuck you. Yes, yes, shut up. I just shot the most powerful dictator on the planet in the dick. <laughs> what of it? There we are. And now we are causing a paradox. I don't know why they keep making us do this run. Not like we ever see anything. Military intelligence. What a joke. It's similar but different. Wait. I never what? get tired of seeing that. Was that Barris off with the TMD? Yep. So in the end, the timeline is still changed. Wait, um... Wouldn't it have reset everything, or...? Uh, that was 20 minutes. <laughs> About. So, yeah, technically we could have slapped this to the end of the previous uh, stream. And since I actually haven't uploaded that one yet, I think I might actually do that. And I'll just have to stitch it together. Hmm. Okay. Time still changed. Uh, Beversoft managed to work. Hmm. Now I'm trying to... The first change was that uh, Demichev uh, was supposed to die in the fire, and after that, Beresov was supposed to fail to build the singularity. And it seems like. Well, with it failing, it eventually would nothing would happen of it until something went wrong with the time with the E99 uh, deposits or something. But in the change timeline, or perhaps, hmm. okay, we have three timelines. We have the quote-unquote original one. Wherein uh, Katorga 12 was an absolute failure and noth uh, nothing changed. Then we have the Demichev timeline, uh, where the where he was saved and didn't die in the fire, where he managed to uh, yeah, where he managed to rise rise to the uh, to be a global well, global dictator. But in that timeline, we already. Uh, Benko destroyed the the singularity, mm. and then there's this Beresov timeline where hmm. I don't I not getting what the change would have been 
for the bearers in the south to to uh, become successful with his experiments there. Yeah, but also at the same time, this has one not being there. And uh, he, he, you think to see them selfie there with the US Army as well, so... And, uh, yeah, you'd, you think US Army, but the logos on the side were of the Soviet Army. So that is again where communism becomes the world power. Though possibly a lot more peaceful. Possible because we don't know what actually happened between then and uh, yeah, Beresov becoming successful. He's repeating now. I think it's repeating because it already did the uh, special things at the end. What? Hmm, let, let's just let it run. I'm I'm just confused as to. What would have changed? Then again, we... Hmm. It could be that... It could be that the paradox led to a Beresov becoming successful because it removed... It would have removed Banco from the timeline. I think. That which would mean that the TMD was... That the reactor was never destroyed, but... In the original timeline, the... Singularity core was never finished in the first place. So something else should have changed as well. Unless they are meaning that the original timeline was also a changed timeline somehow. My brain hurts. Yeah, we're looking up. I really, I, I really think it's looping now for some reason, which I don't think I've ever seen credits loop before. We'll just have to see if it does these special flanks at the end again. Is it looping faster and faster or what? Hmm. I think like some of these creatures we did not see even. Yeah, I think we've seen most of these. A QA special thanks. Um, let's. That one we did not yeah. see, that that guy has fixed too. Okay, this game has quite the TV trope page, so that says uh, how much people have been going with this. So we're gonna oh, oh there's it seems there's also something else so called singularity so there might be a bit of overlap. Hmm. Yeah, it seems there's also a fan a big fanfic with the name Singularity. A film. Hmm. Okay, well, this is going on with all of the noises. I may as well start reading a bit from TV Tropes. Yeah, we have seen that one before. That was close to the end, I think. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the polar bear, I mean, yeah. Pretty sure we saw that very early on. Okay, let's see. TV Tropes. Fred's brilliance. Why are there tape recorders of just about everything that happened on the island? Because it was the USSR at the time and everyone was being spied on. The only thing different about Fratura 12 is that all the facilities were built in the 90 that all of the facilities were built in the 1940s, and so probably had recording devices built right into them. Okay, so Okay, that's that basically meaning that uh, except for the specific rec recordings of yeah, the, the, except, yeah, except for the uh, specific recordings that were started with this is the record of such and such or so. And yeah, we have seen this before. Uh, it basically, it's meaning... Wait. Okay, so it is new stuff. It's just that the artwork is repeating. Okay. But basically what this is implying or suggesting, speculating... That most of those tape recordings were basically spy stuff in the... Wait, 
Nope. Nolan North? Yeah, okay, I didn't. Troy Baker, I, that's her name I re recognize. Jur Yuri Lowenthal, that guy's in almost every fucking shooter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, just for those who might not know, uh, Yuri Lowenthal it does a lot of uh, first person uh, character grunts and such. Let's see, Wr written by. Yeah, I think we. I think it is looping now. Oh, hello. The pearl. The... Oh, Catherine. She survived. <laughs> the typical trope: if there's no body, there's no death. Wait, she's in the past. That. Oh, that is going to be troublesome for her. Initiative research. Is this going to show what the difference is? That those are where those those were researchers. I think she is going to be the Wait, is that the diary? That's the diary they got their hands on, I think. The one that started all of this prophecy stuff about Venko. Don't you have something better to do than to start writing in your own blood? This is not the time to... Wait. She was the wrong one that wrote the quote-unquote prophecy. Okay. Okay! But what else then? Did, did she just bleed out there? That, that is most likely because she, she had a big freaking hole in her side there. But maybe her? Hmm. I'm thinking okay. now maybe her body was discovered. And maybe that somehow helped in the TMD research. Like, um, hmm. They could have carbon dated her body, and which should have shown that it'd be older, or that it'd be newer than should they, that it's, I forget how carbon dating works, but it would show that she wouldn't you see, be too fresh, so to speak, for to be of that time era, which could have inspired, which could have hinted to them that holy shit, all of this time travel stuff could work. Let's not give up on this and let's keep working on it. That might be what caused these the law, the Beresoft timeline. I think there's probably a, people a lot more smarter on TV tropes who might have deduced. Something here or there. Battle YouTubers who works with this field. Uh, oh God. Yeah. It's a good game, but good God, yeah. the time bubble is a brain mangler. Yeah. Okay, let's get to something a bit less uh, uh, filling on the screen. But yeah, you you could probably ask. If she wrote all of that stuff in the diary, why wouldn't she be able to recognize her own handwriting later? But to that I'd say uh, she's bleeding out. Her handwriting is going to be a tad shit. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue on with uh, the TV trope stuff. Second entry. This is all, of course, mostly speculation and not actually confirmed most of it. So let's see. Though it isn't a wild uh, mass guessing stuff where people are just throwing shit at the wall to see what might stick in the future. Let's see. Cartorga 12 is the only place on Earth with this rare time bending element. Why? Because natural fluctuations in time around the island mutated the material of the island itself, just as E99 mutates living creatures. Alternatively, Cartorga 12 is an asteroid, possibly the one that wiped out the dinosaurs or caused some similarly large impact. The only place on Earth that you can find E99 because E99 it could not form on Earth. That actually makes sense. 
Because if basically pretty much every material you can find on Earth, you can find pretty rare, pretty much anywhere. So to have something that is only in one place, typically that would be that mean that it's well from out of space because it's not local. Oh. Okay. That is interesting. Third entry. Okay, so having an E-99 armored Soviet Union curb stomp the world in the 1960s without anyone coming up with any deterrence is implausible, right? It seems like it until you realize that it uh, not only is the USSR's new power coming from a line of research that no one else in the 1950s had imagined, let alone done basic theoretical work in, but said research has literally given the uh, Soviet Union time machines. If a defector steals some samples or someone at Los Alamos started making independent discoveries, Moscow could just send someone back in time to kill them before they've done any damage. And they can do this as many times as they want. Oh, and here uh, is a smart uh, one. Uh, with that, that time ping thing to show where to go. Hey, why is the pathfinding function made out of footprints? They're yours. Because it's a time loop, it's, we, it's literally following in our own footsteps. Um. The explosion, another entry, at the, the explosion at the singularity that wrecked the island and spread E-99 radiation everywhere is your fault. It's the E-99 bomb you set off. You already changed the pass and Demichev is ju just rebuilt the generator afterwards. Not really, Rack. He said he did. Yeah, he said he, he did, but it. it was still destroyed afterwards. So, did it just blow up on its own later? Was it perhaps abandoned and left to rattle itself to death yeah, when it wasn't it needed anymore or something? Yeah, he might have rebuilt it and had it do that again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more that he probably abandoned it uh, after, well, he took over the world or something, then it was not needed anymore. Let's see, why does the description for the futuristic looking assault rifle, assault rifle say it's built in the USSR? Because you changed history and now the USSR rules the entire world in 2010, so, okay, so it's... Yep. Mm. That's not much of a one, I think. Why do the phase six, when mutated and inflated with the TMD's DH function, begin to attack their own? Well, it's the same with humans. Reverts are, oh, are universally aggressive towards all humans as well. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it was the de-aging function every time on them, because it was the blue thing, not the, br the orange, which would uh, age things into destruction. Hmm. Or basically, I'm guessing it messes their their genetics up so much that uh, yeah, they become like our sort of reverts, but it's somehow less changed, more in bloated. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. There is something that will only become apparent upon multiple playthroughs. Those hidden messages scrolled in the E99 dust that you reveal with the TMD. On a replay, the ones you have uncovered will remain uncovered. And any you haven't yet found will remain obscured. The messages are written by yourself from the future who has repeatedly gone back in time to try and fix things. And you've started the game over. Gra congratulations, you the player are now complicit in creating your own time loop. So they are most likely from ourselves. Oh dear. Well, in... While well, English writings alongside Russian ones are undoubtedly a translation convention for the player, hearing Russian characters speaking English might it may not be. The protagonist's last name is Renko. Even if not explicitly stated, it's easy to assume that he's of Russian origin and bilingual. So when he hears Russian, it's like English to him. He perfectly understands it. That would also explain why he was on a mission to Katurga. He may be sent often on Russian-speaking territories because of his fluency. Okay, I, that makes some sense. That makes a lot of sense. But there are also a bunch of characters who only speak. Uh, well, it's the soldiers mostly who only speak Russian, and don't get a translation. 
I yeah, think. But I didn't mention this uh, in some episodes earlier that he ran good, sounded Russian, that he maybe had some Russian heritage. Yeah, and I believe in the first 15 minutes, even, I uh, said something like that it could be that our character knows Russian and that he the game auto translates it for us because of that. Yeah. Okay, there's an extra bit on that, a comment on it, you could say. Problem being their first firefight ban uh, being their firefight banter is still in Russian, not in English. Only their cutscene speech is in English. Maybe Renko isn't fluent enough to initially translate it under fire. Uh, yeah, could be. That, that could be the case. Uh, that that could explain that because when you're in a firefight, you are a lot more focused on shoot, shoot, bang, bang, instead of uh, what the hell is that guy saying? Yeah. Okay, moving on into Fritz Horror. The island is called Katorga 12. The Katorga was a system of penal colonies. Colonies. How many of the people working on the island were actually volunteers? Well, knowing the USSR. Besides the scientists, probably not many. Oh. Next one is revealed at the end that all the faded notes written on the walls were written by you. And every single one of them is true. You're pretty much stuck in a heli cycle of death and destruction on Kortorga uh, 12 till the end of times. Uh, and that's actually not true because those uh, some of those messages were to not tr trust Catherine, but she has done nothing to be untrustworthy. Unless one of the Vanko loops found out that she wrote the diary some way or some, which I find implausible. The, why is the Russian speaking by enemy soldiers so painfully bad at times? Because it's Soviet uh, Union. A multi-language country with oblig obligatory Russian in schools, yet not known for teaching languages well. That may they may be Baltic. Also true. There is a lot of uh, the the East Bloc during World War Two or after World War Two. Actually, my bad there. Uh, yeah, they they were probably forced. Uh, they probably forced all the people there to learn Russian and speak it instead of their native language because of the whole unity stick. So that, that might explain the uh, bad uh, act, the bad Russian. <laughs> okay, fridge logic, which is things that don't make sense, typically. Presumably the footprints you've been following around are previous Ranko's footprints who was doing uh, what you did on a different loop. However, these footprints appear sometimes in area where he was never able to walk, like a fall at the vent that you had to swim through. Good point. Uh, that's and that's the only one in there. Yeah, that that's a small case of uh, gameplay story, uh, gameplay and story segregation. Somewhere on right. Something else, head scratchers. That, uh, in the ending where you kill both Beresov and Demichev, it is mentioned that both the United uh, Soviet Union and United States collapsed, former United States and all. But no explanation is given as to how the fall, how the later later fall, or latter fall. I can never mention. I can never finish out, figure out how to say that word L A T T E R. Did the latter? Every time I say it, it sounds like I'm saying ladder. <laughs> anyway, but no explanation is given as to how uh, the other fell. It is only mentioned the Kartoga 12 monsters escaped to Russia, so why wouldn't the US simply win the Cold War outright? Also, how does the whole world degenerate into war after the two died? Yeah, we, we could have shot damage, we could have shot them both. Hmm. Though I don't really see how that would have. Would it have changed? We've seen two endings. One where Demichov shot us uh, and shot and Beresov, and he was going to shoot Beresov anyways if we gave him the t you know, TMD. Likely he could, he would have shot us as well, even if we gave it to him, because you're you're too powerful, you can't live, that sort of thing. <clears throat> we had an ending where we shot Demichev. 
that could be t number two. There, now it says that there's an ending where if we shoot them both. So I'm guessing there might also be an ending where we don't shoot either of them, or if we don't shoot damage, uh, uh, which would make for a fourth. So there's possibly up to six endings then, I think. I'll have to look that up on the normal tropes. Let's see, did it um, comment on that? Ranko travels back in time to destroy the original Singularity Reactor, but when he travels forward in time to a twisted alternate present, uh, Demichev shows that he outmaneuvered both of them by taking a third option and simply rebuilding the damn thing afterwards. Considering that the Soviets used the powers of the reactor to win the Cold War the first time around, they almost certainly did the same there, only with a slight delay. If that may cross over with the case of you already changed the past. As such, it can be assumed that the USSR conquered the world once again, and thus had the US as one of its colonies slash subject states. When Demichev, the dictator and strong leadership holding the Soviet state together, as well as one of you know, the three people that know that you can what you can do with E-99, and Beresov, the other of the three people aside from Renko, to know about this and the alternative for leadership dying, the Soviet Empire fractures apart as various leaders emerge and try to seize power only to further splinter the USSR and as such as subject states largely see the same thing happen, which would include the US. Okay, that would explain. So, hmm. Okay, a comment on a comp that previous comment then. Right, when they say former United States, they don't mean former as in the United States fell to the released monsters, they mean what was the United States before the Soviet Union used the power of the singularity to end the Cold War. Okay, that... They, they really thought this stuff through, even if they didn't explain it all. Which is actually a good thing, because if you explain everything, then people are going to get annoyed with that. Yeah... I can see that being a problem. Who explain things? Let's see. Another one. Okay, someone explained this to me because even the Wikipedia summary didn't explain it. Why is the fact that Ranko and Devlin are both played by Nolan North important to the story? Comment on that. Even when future Ranko tells you to stop saving Demichev from the fire, you could be excused for thinking that you know, that's actually Devlin. Okay, smart move. But, um... Ah! <laughs> okay, why the hell can't you just shoot Demichev in the head as you're carrying him out? Why do you need to shoot yourself in the head? Either way, Demichev is stranded in the burning building. You just managed to avoid the unfortunate implications of murdering your past self. Comment on that. Well, that's because you are the, you are the yelling you, not the walking you, and you can't see his head. Now, why the hell can't, can't you just unload your pistol into him? After all, bullets in the ass go into the large intestine, which can easily cause fatal infections. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now, yeah, we were we were carrying him over our shoulders, so. Um. So, yeah, e even if we'd shot him, it would have mostly been in the, well, ass and back, which would have been less fatal than that. And that is even assuming that past self wouldn't try to maneuver uh, out of the way of the shots. Because, uh, yeah, a, a Marine that's shot at is not going to just stick and, stay and stand still. Hmm. Yeah, the, we have been st talking about this for a while now, I realize. Yeah. Uh, here's another one that is actually on the ending that we put and picked, and a bit of a continuation to that. Uh, if you choose Beresov's ending, why can't Ranko, instead of shooting his past self in the face, shoot Demichev on his past self's back instead? I tried that myself. As it happens, Demichev dis does this demonstrate an uncanny level of durability you know, throughout the game because we shot him in the fucking face. 
and we shot him out the fucking window and he survived that. So yeah, there's a good chance he, even if we had just filled him up with lead at that point, he could have just survived still. <laughs> so, one way to kill him is with fire. <laughs> Basically. And that's going back and forth a lot with an even more comments. And here's the one last one before we end this and go for an hour of Slime Rancher. In the after credits cutscene, you see Catherine write Ranko's name in the journal. Presumably, this is what had caused history to change, even if you prevent yourself from saving Demichev. How? How does your name in the journal suddenly lead to Beresev deciding to take over the world when he didn't in the original timeline? And some comments on that. There's nothing to do with Beresov taking over the world. It's the only loose end that remains after the closing narration, and it shows up no matter what ending you choose. That, uh... <laughs> okay. So this is basically... The comments are basically speculating that seeing someone have... You know, written... Basically, that Demichev would have found that in his own diary, because it's his own freaking diary. Of course, he's going to open that thing up. Which would then reveal to him that time travel is possible. Which could be the thing that set him off on uh, moving forward on world domination. So, again, it goes all in circles. Until we, well, cause a paradox and kill ourselves. Hey. Uh, yeah, let's end this and then I'll end the stream and start it up again for more Slime Rancher. Yeah, so... I think that brain needs it. <laughs> okay, so anyone is just watching for this now or later, thank you for watching. And uh, thank you, especially Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And, uh, yeah, give it a, a minute or two. I'll start back up with Slime Rancher if you uh, want to do uh, watch that. Uh, if not, then uh, well, I'll see you next time because we, we have something planned for after this now. But, yeah, for now, Slime Rancher, Saturday Slime Rancher as well, and Sunday the usual. So next week, we'll be starting with a new series. But, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks.